Okay, welcome. Uh, this is Dr. Guerra with Drug Names Decoded, and I'm going to go through the respiratory drugs or respiratory drugs, uh, the antihistamines, uh, those drugs for asthma, and then some drugs for cough. Uh, the first uh, group are the antihistamines, and we'll start with loratadine. And remember that these are H1 antihistamines, uh, not H2. H1 antihistamines have to do with allergy. H2 have to do with GI. And loratadine is Claritin, C-L-A-R-I-T-I-N. And uh, these drugs are generally non-sedating or won't make you sleepy. Cetirizine or cetirizine, I've heard it both ways. Uh, this is Zyrtec, Z-Y-R-T-E-C, and that's cetirizine. That and Claritin are very similar. Diphenhydramine, uh, also an antihistamine, is one that makes you drowsy. Uh, so this is classified as first generation. These were uh, diphenhydramine and Benadryl uh, came along before Claritin and Zyrtec, and they made uh, patients drowsy. But chemists found a way uh, to allow uh, or to keep the H1 antihistamines from crossing the blood-brain barrier, uh, therefore uh, reducing CNS effects. If you reduce CNS effects, you reduce uh, that drowsiness. So again, diphenhydramine, that's Benadryl, B-E-N-A-D-R-Y-L. Fluticasone with salmeterol. Uh, this is a different group of medications. This goes under asthma. And fluticasone and salmeterol are going to help with inflammation, and we see that SONE ending, S-O-N-E, so we know it might be an anti-inflammatory steroid, and it is in this case. And then we also see a T-E-R-O-L. Generally, the T-E-R-O-L ending is going to tell us that it's going to be a beta agonist, which means uh, that will open up the lungs. And salmeterol lasts for about 12 hours, so it's a long-acting beta agonist. Now, you can't use Advair, which is uh, what this combination product is called, A-D-V-A-I-R, uh, for uh, rescue inhaler uh, use. Uh, if you have some kind of emergency, an asthma attack, you don't want to use this. This is a preventative drug. So again, fluticasone with salmeterol is Advair. Ipratropium bromide is Atrovent. That's Ipratropium bromide. And this drug works a little bit differently, uh, but it's also for asthma. Triamcinolone, that alone ending lets us know it's probably a steroid. And these steroids, again, are very helpful for the inflammatory process that comes along with asthma. Uh, asthma is really a combination of hyperreactivity of the lungs and inflammation, and this helps with that inflammatory part. Okay, and this is asthma court. Terbutaline is breath air and this would be used to help asthmatics. Uh, it's fallen out of favor, um, but it's still available in the generic. Although we're using the brand name Breath Air and it's not available anymore, it's still helpful because you can get Breathe Air right out of the brand name and associate it that way. But this is terbutaline. Next drug is albuterol or Pro Air. It's P-R-O-A-I-R. That's albuterol. And albuterol is the rescue inhaler. Uh, when someone talks about their puffer, they're probably talking about this drug. And it works very well, very quickly. In terms of using it, you really want to wait a little bit after the first puff, allow the lungs to open up. That way more medicine can get in. Again, this is albuterol, which is pro-air. The next drug is Singulair, which is Montelukast. And Singulair is something called a receptor antagonist, specifically a leukotriene receptor antagonist, and leukotrienes are involved in asthma and that response. And the brand name Singulair uh, literally means it's just taken uh, one dose a day or one tablet a day, and that's Montelukast. The last one is guafenicin with DM, uh, which may not be familiar to you, but Robitussin probably is. So Robitussin by itself is just the guafenicin. But Robitussin DM 
is guafenicin with DM. Well, what's DM? It's something called dextromethorphan. Dextromethorphan is used for cough and it can be taken over the counter. I didn't put them on here uh, because uh, the codeine products are in the musculoskeletal section, but opioids are often used for very severe cough. Uh, but this is guafenicin with dextromethorphan or DM and it's Robitussin DM.